Hello everybody, it's GV. This is ultra rare and specific, specific, specific ASMR. This is a series where I ask you, what are the ASMR triggers that you never get to see, rarely get to see, have only seen once, and now you're searching across the internet just hoping and praying that someone else will do it again. I am here to help. So I asked on Twitter and I asked on the YouTube community page. I got a lot of suggestions and I tried to pick ones that I thought I haven't seen or I haven't done before. Um, or at least, you know, are rare enough that they deserve another go around. So the, I picked 11. But the first one is one that uh, I'll be doing throughout the entire video. I'm going to read it to you now. Uh, this says, this is going to sound weird, but I really appreciate when there's total silence in the pacing. So many people do slow triggers, but flow right from one to the next with no gaps. It doesn't even need to be fully anticipatory stuff, just a second or two of silence occasionally. So what I'm going to do is not have Vest edit between the triggers. Um, we're going to do very minimal editing, just cutting out like sounds or mistakes or stuff like that. Um, but I'll let sort of like the silence simmer in this video. I feel like we usually don't. We do edit them to go from trigger to trigger to trigger. I will not be doing that this time. So I'll be like walking over to my table to get the next items and stuff like that. I'm just going to have Vest keep that in, um, which could be fun, different, interesting, rare. But now there's a plane coming, so I will have to edit. Okay, it's gone. I'm going to try to do, I think each one would be fine to do for a full like three minutes. I think that gives you enough time that like you get immersed in the trigger and are able to enjoy it and you could like loop it if you wanted to. So this first one is from Yusuf and it's book spine tapping. Book spine tapping has to be one of the most underrated triggers I've ever seen. They're always on the side of the book tapping and never last that long. Hoping we can get a couple of minutes straight. Okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. So, I have some books here. We're gonna move the laptop over here. And I'm gonna go get my books. Um, because it's true, like I do tap on the front and back of the book as well. Um, but today we're just going to a few different textures, but we're going to start with Jojo. Sorry. No, I'm not sorry, because this is a nice textured spine, so here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Just making sure.
next one. Oh, this is a good one. From Akira. In your barely touching your face video, you did something where you counted to 10 by touching the screen for each number, but at 10, you would make a circle and tap in the middle. Love that one. Still remains to be one of the only things to give me tingles ever. Thank you. Okay. So what I did in the video was this, and I'm going to touch your face. Do I have this one? Oh, actually, I think it's in a box over there, so I'll leave you here. Let me grab it. I like that one. Maybe this one. Yes. Okay. So, what the request is says, okay, here's a weird one that I feel like I've never seen anyone do, but I totally get ASMR tingles from it. Hot Wheels cars. 
slowly rolling, like, um, rolling slowly over hard surfaces. Something about the sound of the tiny wheels rolling back and forth is just really peaceful. Let's use our books here. This one, this D and D player's handbook. Good service. So I have purple and yellow. My problem is I think they're kind of they're squeaky. They're kind of old. But let me see what I can do. Need to oil them up. ASMR, but um, I'll have timestamps in case you want to skip ahead if you don't like the sound. I'll just try the yellow one. Maybe it'll squeak less. Okay, that's better. I feel like I want to make that on my face. I'm gonna move it like closer to you. Ready? I go like this. <laughs> Maybe I'll move out of the way. Actually. Sometimes these ultra rare triggers, they're like, most of them are like kind of new for me. So I'm experimenting as well. I'll try this off. I feel like mostly it's just too squeaky. So, maybe I need to buy new Hot Wheels cars, but I'm sorry if that was bad. <laughs> the next one is copying movements, like Mirror Me. It's so rare, every time I find one video with it, I keep rewatching it. Let's do that, that sounds really fun. I used to like warm up with this when you do acting, like acting camps for kids. Like, I don't know, they always had us do this. It's to be like more in tune with your stage partners. So, all you have to do is follow my movements. Um, and we'll start now. Mm. 
Close your eyes. Open. Turn your head to the center. Turn your head to the center. Down. Up. my hands. Copy my hands. Stop. Pinky. Two thumbs up. I want you to bring your hands together and um, like yoga. <laughs> Good. Now push. suggestion. I'm not sure I can do this for three minutes, but um, this is from Jelly Bean Green requesting when people do massage videos and keep lightly pronouncing the G, like a DG sound instead of a J. Massage. Also a huge fan of people very lightly pronouncing the G in ING words. So I'm going to start with the ING words. Okay, so the ING words, it would be, this is like the, I think it's called a gerund, like a, a verb in progress. Like if you are walking down the street and talking with someone on the phone, um, and they're kind of saying like, you know, things that they're doing that day and you have to come with them and maybe you'll be helping them later. Um, just with, you know, aiding them and anything that they need to get done that day. So, you know, you could be in the kitchen, dicing, uh, cutting, cooking, baking, aerating, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's eight letter words. Alerting, avenging, assuring. I like walking, walking. I think I know exactly what you mean, Jelly Bean. It's so good. I love when people do that too. I definitely don't do that when I'm talking. I like 
end, end it right there. But when other people are talking and they kind of give that extra syllable, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Um, when they're pronouncing the G words, it's hard for me to do because I don't naturally do it. But if, if you, do you know anybody who does it? I almost feel like ASMR Darling does it. Like, she has a very, very nice accent that just... Maybe I'm wrong, maybe she doesn't do it, but that's the first person I thought of. But I'll give you a little, um, shoulder massage now, if that's fine. So, sort of on the sides here, like, it can turn a little bit into a neck massage. But mostly, when you do a, sh um, a shoulder massage, it should be to sort of to get that tension out. You really want to get the tension out, and that's what the beauty of massage because it feels nice and then it actually helps in the long run so I'm just going to massage the left side and then we'll massage this over, because the fan sound is so loud. I will finish your massage on both sides. There you go. Massage complete. <laughs> is it? I don't know if it's effective if someone does it on purpose. But that was fun to try. my mother back. Let's see. Ooh, from Miss Fushi. Can't say no to Miss Fushi. Cold metal chain sounds. So I do have some nice gold necklaces that are chain, chain links. I'll show you. One fresh. It has um, like barbed wire in between each one. I'm going to move the microphones a little closer. Right.
this one, which I really like. It's got fake diamonds on the front there. Joker length. double chain necklace that has a magnet closure yeah this one's Jenny Bird flat there you have it one I think one more before I'm going to turn the camera down because some of these are for like a close-up um, but this last one before I do that is from Emma Rose and I liked the first suggestion so this is what I'm doing sounds from the back of the microphone like coming from behind your head so I almost never do this, which is why I'm interested to see if it'll actually work. I'm going to show you the triggers that I have. So I have... I might do one more. Okay. Three triggers, and I'll be softly speaking. I have the wooden blocks. I have a bag of artificial snowflakes. And I have scissors. So I'm gonna get out of here, I guess, and go to the back of your head. Bye. Okay, so almost immediately I feel like a plane's coming, but you might be okay. This feels so wrong. 
Like I can't possibly be. snowflakes I actually like the moon a little bit of this so I'm going to cut the bag because it's a little too crinkly I want to hear just the actual snowflakes No. I'm just going to keep that, the tongs, in the back. Okay, that's enough of that. How was that? <laughs> okay. I never do that. To be fair, that is a very rare trigger from me. So, hopefully that worked and the mics picked up something. Um, but I have a few now. I think three, two. DVD cases, spoilers, tweezers and wood. That might be it, too. Oh no, the dry erase. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. I am so excited about this one. This video is going to be long. This is going to be a long video, let me tell you. Okay. Let's turn the camera down.
Michael Bay. 